What's going on, you guys? I hope you're having a beautiful day today. It is a beautiful day. And this is one of the most interesting cars ever. The 2023 Fisker Ocean Extreme. There are so many tech things that we're gonna go over that's just so different from every other car I've ever seen, and then especially that I put on this channel. Um, and it's also very fast, spoiler alert. So just before we go for a drive and check out this interior, let's hop out. And uh, even on the exterior, by the way, there are some very, very cool things to go over. And before we get into it, big thank you to Charlotte Fisker for giving us this Fisker Ocean to review. If you are interested in a Fisker Ocean, check the link in the description because they are offering $24,000 off the Extreme models and $18,000 off the Ultras. Plus, these are extremely rare cars to find. Try to find one the next time you go to a dealership. You probably won't. All right, back to the video. First things first, you'll notice that the door handles are popped out. If you lock this thing, the mirrors fold in, the door handles go in. And if you don't wanna click the unlock button, you can actually just put your key fob right over the door handle and that will all reappear for you. Now, not super special, right? Well, here's something that is. There is a special button right here on this key fob that if you actually hold down, well, before we do that, this roof is entirely a solar panel. So it will charge this thing. We'll talk about the performance in a moment, but yes, this is a fully electric SUV. So let's hold down this button and watch what happens. This is called California mode and it's basically a convertible. Even this third window here will drop down, the back window drops down, the whole sunroof comes off and you get this perfectly open view. And if you would like to put it back up, all you gotta do is hold the button for a few seconds. You'll see some motion happen and boom, everything will go back up. The roof will start slide back in place and you have yourself just a regular looking SUV again. If you could even consider this regular looking. Before we go for a drive, let's take a look at how this design actually looks. First of all, I love this red color. I think it really stands out. But this is one, I, I, I believe I have never seen this on the road in my entire life. And for me personally, I absolutely love any car that has that rare factor to it. And this one definitely does. First thing you'll notice is, well, it definitely has the electric exterior touch to it. This doesn't look like a gasoline car. It doesn't have an engine under the hood. Um, of course, no, of course, no exhaust in the back, but I do still like the, the sort of sleek design that this thing has. It looks like it's sporty because it actually is sporty. Very, very wide fenders over here as well. That looks very cool. Um, very modern, futuristic looking wheel design here. You get some nice big brakes. 22 inch wheels, by the way. That's massive. You could almost, if it had more clearance, you could take this thing off-roading. Um, you're gonna have 255s for your tire width front and back. And this thing does have all wheel drive and you need it because of how well this thing can accelerate. Uh, back end, tail lights, pretty sharp, sleek. Um, you get the Fisker logo and Ocean right below it. Also, on this key fob here, if you hold down the trunk button, this thing will open up automatically for you. And you get a whole lot of trunk space inside of this thing. You can even open this thing up here, even more trunk space. And you do get a wall plug if you want to go camping or picnicking. Very nice. So, first things first you will notice this is a fairly simple interior because the money is put in very, very unique spots in this Fisker Ocean. It's not, you know, carb, there's not carbon fiber everywhere and uh, a lot of the just like extraness with the materials. It's simple, but you're gonna see why it is actually worth the $60,000. So in order to start this thing up, all you gotta do is hold down the little brake. You don't press the start button and it says ready right in your little gauge cluster here which happens to be this small i had to turn that down uh which happens to be this small little screen right here but it gives you all of the necessary details so you have your mileage remaining we have 272 miles we're at 76 percent charge you get your drive mode right here which has some very interesting names we'll run through that in a second and of course you get your speed so if you want to go into drive, it is pretty simple. You have this little gear lever right here. We've seen these on other cars as well. Park, reverse, neutral, drive. Park, you're going to press this in. Drive, you are going to simply tap down and you are ready to go as soon as you turn off that parking brake right here. Now, uh, when you're parking this thing and getting out, you don't actually turn the car off. You just put it, uh, the parking brake on, take your foot off of the brake, open the door, and get out with this thing still in ready mode or turned on. And as soon as you get out and lock it, it actually turns itself off, which is pretty convenient. 
Now I do want to show you guys the back seats before we talk about more of the stuff up front and a lot to come up there. So again, it's very simple with the door panel design here. You get ocean on your door sill and kind of like just a couch in the back here. It is very comfy and staring at this solar panel sunroof is extremely, extremely cool. I would love to see uh, passengers who haven't been in these types of cars, what their reaction is to something like this. That is absolutely awesome. And in here, by the way, you actually have a screen with some just basic climate control uh, functions and heated seats that you can select back here, which is very cool. You would not expect an actual climate control touchscreen pad when you pull this thing down. That is absolutely awesome. Other than that though, um, you get some USB-C ports, right? USB-C, I believe so. Uh, and nice little air vent right here. And other than that, the back seats are pretty plain and simple. Uh, you get some lighting, but the sunroof is probably the coolest thing to look up at. But now let's talk features inside of here. And there are so many hidden little Easter eggs inside of this thing. First, to start with the steering wheel design, it's actually very fitting for this SUV. It's bulky and it feels really nice to hold. Uh, you get the Fisker, Fisker logo right here. You get the uh, ocean spelled out right there. You don't get an extreme badge, and that's going to be the middle trim for this car. You can step up to the one, but the extreme is enough. I mean, it offers a lot. So first of all, I mean, performance wise, especially uh, if you want to flip this entire massive screen, which is the elephant in the room inside of this interior up here, you just hold, press this little thing down and that thing will flip for you and everything will be reconfigured to the new display as soon as it loads. There we go. Um, and you just have so many cool options in here. So first of all, if you want to adjust the steering wheel, it's so weird and different, but weird in a good way because it's just unique and cool. So you press adjust steering wheel and then you actually use the knob right here to adjust the steering wheel and it'll move in place for you. And whenever you're finished with the positioning you want it to be in, you click done and it'll stay just like that. You can also put this thing in boost mode and you have a select amount of boost modes. Uh, you're able to run through some different drive modes in here, which we'll jump over to that in a second. When you're in hyper drive mode, if you want to have a lot of fun in this thing, you can do pretty much extra boost in this thing and it gives you 500 hard pulls. Now it's easy to just jump to that and say, I don't want to have a limited number of, of boost amounts. Yeah, well, if you do that in an engine, it's going to end up blowing up as well. So it's kind of fair. This thing's kind of just protecting your car and 500 is a good amount to run through. That's just like, it feels like a video game when you look at that, which is very unique and cool. Now, if you go to audio, you can actually configure how the sound system is putting sound inside of the car. You can select 3D surround and that's going to give you uh, for all of the passengers and just make everyone have the best sound experience or you can individually configure who uh, should have the best sound experience. That is super, super cool. Connectivity is going to be Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all of that. Uh, display is going to be for this infotainment system here. Uh, you have lighting, safety, uh, driving assist. Um, let's jump to the interesting stuff here. Now, all of that is just in one of like eight settings in here. So if you go over to the fan button, which is climate, you can select your heated seats and of course your climate. Uh, if you go over here, you can literally watch YouTube, Disney Plus, Hulu, Prime. What in the world? That That is absolutely awesome. If you click this little SUV button with a lightning strike through it, that's gonna show you your current range, your last charge. And by the way, this thing in 35 minutes can bring you up to 250 miles of range, which is not bad at all. Now what's very cool is if you jump over to trips, of course it shows you your odometer. But it, the solar panel has actually charged more range than how many miles has been put on this car. Mind you, of course, it's sitting at uh, the dealership lot, but uh, I don't know, that, that's just awesome. That shows you that the solar panel is actually effective and the sun is absolutely blasting right now. So you'd hope so. Of course, you can go over to the call button. That's gonna show you your uh, calls and all that connect to your uh, phone, Bluetooth, Spotify, all that. Your entire display here, which is actually really, really nice, high quality as well, along with the reverse camera. So if you go into reverse, that's actually gonna flip up for you and you're able to see your bird's eye view as well as, you can go back in reverse, you get some nice uh, sound animations as well. And you're gonna have a very high definition backup camera as well. Nice little three level setup here with uh, your map, your camera and your top-down view. 
Okay, now let's jump over to the drive modes in this car. So using these buttons right here, we can click through them and we can shift through some very interesting named drive modes. So uh, first of all, we have Earth, which is just gonna be a very chill mode. Fun, which is gonna make this a bit more sporty. Hyper, which is gonna put this in the most sporty setting and make it feel absolutely insane, which also allows you to put it uh, in boost mode if you wanna really get a hard acceleration inside of this thing. So only uh, three different drive modes, but it's really the only three that you need. And to quickly cover the storage inside of this thing, it is way better than you think. You saw the back seats, you saw the trunk. Under here, you get a ton of storage space. You even get hidden storage by twisting this little knob and you can hide stuff under here. That is super, super cool. I know what most people are gonna use that for. You even have a storage space in your center console with an actual airplane tray. So you can fold this out and have lunch. How cool is that? Not to mention, you're also going to have two nicely sized, kind of weirdly shaped cup holders though, but they are big enough to hold almost all drinks. And you have two wireless charging pads. That would actually come in handy for a driver and a passenger. Very nice with that. And with that in mind, let's see how this thing drives. All right, you guys, here we are driving the 2023 Fisker Ocean Extreme. And one thing that will blow your mind the second that you get inside of this thing is how smooth sailing this SUV is. It, we have driven a Bentley Flying Spur. We have driven a Mercedes GLE 350, yet this has one of the smoothest rides ever. Now, um, there's a few modes we're gonna run through, uh, the drive modes as well as the regener regenerative braking. And one very interesting thing is when this is in high regener regenerative braking and you let off that throttle, it really feels like your foot is pressing on that brake with how it kind of, with how fast it slows down. Of course, that's gonna recharge the battery. Um, it, that takes a little bit of, of time to get used to. So I'll probably do it in either medium or low mode. And let's see how, how medium feels here foot off the accelerator and that's that's much more manageable it's so much different from a uh engine car or suv and if we go to low mode it's still gonna do it but take our foot off and you really don't notice it it's gonna feel just like any other car but high mode is it is weird how fast that thing stops when your foot is off the accelerator. So this thing makes 468 horsepower. We're going to do a pull once we have some open space, but this thing is a lot faster than you think. Electric cars are, are yes, I know a lot of car enthusiasts, you may be one, you're like, oh, electric, you don't get the sound. And yes, a sound for me is definitely a big portion of what makes a car so exciting, but having a silent, fast car or SUV gives you one of the strangest yet exciting and heart dropping acceleration experiences ever. Um, because there's just not a lot happening, but you're moving so fast. It's hard to actually put it into words. This is my first time driving an electric car uh, for those of you guys that, that don't know. And it, it is very cool in its own unique way. And by the way, one thing we did not mention while surfing through this infotainment system here is the fact that you can actually move around these little fan icons and that will, I could literally feel the air vent start blowing on my leg. That will adjust exactly where the airflow is gonna go so you don't have to reach in there and sort of play with the airflow system. That is so, so cool. What's What's amazing about the Fisker Ocean is it just reinvents so many features of a car, but not to the point where it's like, why would you do that? Or, or it's just annoying. It's innovative. That's, that's the best word I can think of to describe this because they're all actually useful and cool and in some ways way more practical and convenient than a, what a lot of cars have done in the past. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and switch over to hyper mode in this thing and get ready for this launch. I know you can't feel the G-forces, but trust me, they are there. Watch the speedometer. Three, two, one, go. That hit 60 so quick. Oh my gosh. And again, with, with no gear shifts, it's just this constant moving tank. It is, it is so weird, unique, and cool. Um, I, I, again, with this being my first time driving an electric car, I, 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 I could never imagine that I would like it, but I'm glad I got in this one as the first one because it is so different from every other car and it is, well, 468 horsepower, so it is fast. Let's go ahead and roll from 20 miles an hour and see how it picks up here. Three, two, one, go. Oh man, 
and you get that little like spaceship sound as well, which is very, very cool. But yeah, that the way that thing climbs the speedometer is absolutely incredible. You, we've been driving a lot of cars that, that, that are in the, the 450 to 550 horsepower range, and that really is the sweet spot for road conditions. You can have a ton of fun, your heart will drop, but um, it's not like you do a three second pull and then you're in a bunch of legal trouble. Just, you know. This takes some maturity. And guys, watch how fast this thing picks up power. I'll, I'll hit the accelerator in three, two, one, now. Instantly, instantly, everyone in the car will just kind of sink back into their seat. And it goes so, so fast too. Um, Yes, in, in an engine car, of course, you can drop a gear, hold the RPMs high, and then floor it. This one, it, it, it always is ready for you to just step on it. And the range has also barely dropped in this thing at all. So um, even if you do romp on it, well, you got the solar roof charging you up, and it's not gonna lose range that quick, plus with this thing being able to charge 250 miles in 35 minutes, that's it's not really big issue whatsoever. If you're somebody that loves tech, new technology, cool features and all of that, this thing will absolutely give it to you. Um, and plus the performance as well with that instant torque, you can have a lot of fun in this thing and just change how the car feels, how it drives. All in all, I mean, I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. It's practical, it's fast, it's innovative. And this dealership has probably the most Fisker Oceans out of any dealership on the East Coast. So check out their inventory because it is super, super cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this thing and I will see you in the next one. Peace.